Greetings. Hello, everybody. I haven't made a video for a while, but today is an anniversary, a good anniversary. Um, on May 10th, 2016, seven years ago, was the last day I took a prescribed routine opiate. I had been prescribed opiates for about 20 some years off and on and had been on them daily for at least three years when I discontinued them. Um, I am so grateful I don't have to play that game anymore with the medical professionals and always being fearful of having the med stopped and how was I going to get through and all of that. Um, I used cannabis, FICO, full extract cannabis oil. That's how I got off prescription pain medicine. And I was on a lot of other medicines. Uh, if you've watched my channel, you know that uh, I was on a handful of medicines and I don't take any of them anymore. Um, but coming off opiates was a pretty big deal. Um, I was on 60 to 90 milligrams of oxycodone for the last year and a half uh, of the time that I was being prescribed them. Um, and I was mostly in bed, walked with a cane, uh, about 25 pounds heavier than I am now, depressed, suicidal at times, um, and quite miserable. The pain was awful. Even with the pain pills, the pain was awful. And it made me completely disengaged from life. I was, I was sad and I was hurting and it wasn't working. And I didn't understand what was going on. And of course there were side effects, which brought on some of the other medications. But now I, I haven't walked with a cane since 2018. I, uh, I did a 5k back in 2018. Um, I am up and dressed every day, pretty much. I mean, once in a blue moon, I'll get hit with a, a severe pain day, you know, from overdoing it or a severe weather change or just being kind of worn down, but it's nothing like it was before. Nothing. I still have pain, but my brain is able to let me use skills and tools to navigate with the pain. Where when my brain was all fuzzy and foggy, I was just, oh, I hurt. Oh, I can't do anything. It just hurt. Now I'm like, okay, yeah, it hurts, but I have things I want to do. I have people I want to see. I have places I want to go. I want to be living my life, and I am. So I just, you know, this is a hard time of year for me. For those who aren't aware, uh, two days from today will mark four years since my eldest son passed on Mother's Day in 2019. And at that point, I was just two years off opiates and a year and a half off benzos and uh, a year and a half about off all meds. And it was rough. It still is hard. But I want to celebrate this accomplishment, this achievement. I feel very successful as someone who has had a history of being on prescription medications, particularly opiates and benzodiazepines and psychotropics. And now I'm free from all of those and I'm living and I'm enjoying life. So thank you for watching. Thank you for celebrating with me. If there's anything I can do to help you and be an encouragement to you to make choices for you to be more active and live your life, reach out. I like to help people. All right. Be well, be true to yourself, have faith that it'll get better, but it's up to you. No one did this for me. I had to do it. I had to go through all the pain of it, 
the withdrawals, all of it. I had to go through it. But here I am, and I am here to tell you seven years later, I am grateful for what I've done. All right. Peace, y'all.